Hello, my name is Asil, uh, and I'm the author of Compose to Nix. Uh, Compose to Nix is a tool that aims to make it easier to run Docker Compose projects on Nix OS. Uh, the idea is we want to use as much of Nix OS functionality as possible, um, especially if it's redundant. Um, that is, you know, it's available in Docker Compose, but we can implement it natively in Nix OS. Um, and yeah, you can think of it as a re-implementation where part of it is Nix OS and part of it also is passing flags uh, along based on the Compose uh, file uh, provided to passing flags along to the Docker or Podman runtimes. Um, the, another part of it is that we aim to support both Podman and Docker as container uh, backends, right? So I think um, the audience for Compose Linux in general, in my mind, um, there's you know two uh, major use cases. The first is you're coming to Nix OS and you have this Docker Compose project of yours that you like to run, um, which it used to run fine on Ubuntu or Debian or um, Fedora or whatever. Uh, it could be a Linux distribution, could be even on Windows. Um, and now you want to run this Docker Compose project on NixOS. Um, you could uh, just use Docker Compose on NixOS, um, but there really isn't a clean way uh, to integrate it with the system. Um, it's not, and, and primarily because NixOS is not aware, or rather Nix, the build system, is not aware of the internals of Docker Compose. Docker Compose does a lot of stuff internally. Uh, you know, it, ha it marks services as dependencies to one another. It, it sets up volumes, sets up network networks, uh, and so on. And uh, that's all opaque to NixOS. The goal of Compose to Nix is kind of to bring this up to the surface so that NixOS is aware, um, such that, for example, you make a change <clears throat> to one service, could be you add an environment variable to that service, Ideally, NixOS would only restart that service, right? We don't want NixOS to go ahead and run a Docker Compose down because it saw a change in the Compose file and then run a Docker Compose up. It's too disruptive, right? Uh, so yeah, it's just more clean integration with NixOS. That's the goal. Um, that's one use case. You're coming, it's kind of greenfield. You're coming onto NixOS, you have your existing uh, Compose project and you don't want to port it to NixOS. You just want to use it as is and maybe port it later. The second use case is to run applications that are kind of non-trivial um, in the sense that they consist of multiple moving parts, multiple services. Um, they're not natively packaged, neither on Nix packages nor on Nix OS as services. Um, and they officially provide a Docker Compose project as an installation method. Um, we will walk through an example of such a project and how that would look on Nix OS um, in this video. Um, so yeah, those are the two use cases. If you fit into one of these buckets, I think Compose to Nix is the tool for you. Um, so yeah, give it a shot, try it out. Um, and uh, there's a lot of, uh, obviously we don't implement all of Compose, um, but you can refer at the very bottom of the readme to this matrix here. You can see what's supported. Uh, in theory, because we use, like Compose to Nix uses the uh, actual uh, Compose library under the hood, anything that Compose can support, we should be able to support. However, uh, there's little asterisks there. Um, there are things that can be complicated to support, right? Given some of the limitations of NixOS and how this is all set up. So just if you see something is not supported, feel free to file an, an issue and uh, I can take a look. Uh, but uh, that's an overview of Compose to Nix. Uh, next, I'll move on to kind of a demonstrative example of an actual project you might want to run and uh, how that would look. Um, so today we're going to try out running this self-hosted photo server called Image. Um, we will head over to the website here um, and you'll see that the website itself in the installation section, uh, it surfaces Docker Compose as its recommended installation method. Um, which, yeah, that's great for us. Um, so we'll go ahead and follow these steps one by one. Um, I'm going to do this on a 
clean-ish uh, NixOS machine. Um, it's a uh, an ARM virtual machine running 24.05. Um, uh, I'll show you the configuration here. It's a clean configuration. Um, it just has a user, some packages. That's it, right? Nothing special. Uh, so we will um, go ahead and follow the instructions. So I'm going to first uh, create this directory, and then we're going to download the Docker Compose file they provide. And we're also going to download this example and file. Okay. So that's what we have right here. I'm going to skip the optional stuff. Okay. Um, <clears throat> And we just need to run one command here. It's pretty simple. We, you know, compose the next tries to simplify this as much as possible. Uh, so we're going to run the compose the next uh, tool using next run. We're passing in that image officially provided Docker compose file. We're going to spit out this output next file. We want to take in the m file, so we need to point um, to point and compose the next to that and tell it to include it. We're going to check bind mounts for any missing bind mounts, which we'll, you'll, you'll see is helpful. And then we're going to say we want to use the podman container runtime. So if we run this, quickly tell us that, hey, you have a bind mount path that doesn't exist. So let's create that. That's something called Postgres rerun. And we have another bind mount called library. Rerun. And there you have it. Have this compose next file you can take a look at. Uh, it's you know it has this little standard header, auto-generated header that says enable Podman, and then it's generated um, entries for each of the services and uh, each of the networks, well, one network in this case, and then um, the one volume. And then there's this root target here, which is essentially a grouping of all the services in this Compose project. Think of it as a systemd target that you can use. Uh, you can call systemd start podman dash compose dash image dash root uh, and this will essentially bring up everything and if you stop it it brings down everything kind of like docker compose down okay so that's that um, let's go back to our source config and just uncomment this line here and then we're going to rebuild All right this may take a short while um, but essentially, it's going to install Podman. Um, it's going to enable it as the backing container runtime. And then it's going to um, try to start all the services. So you can ignore this for now. Uh, this, I think, is just a race condition. But uh, systemd will restart things in the background. We can um, check. And we can verify that all four containers of interest are up. Um, we can also look at systemd and see that all the units are up and um, we can finally verify uh, if we uh, head over to the browser open up the exposed port that image is indeed running okay um, and yeah just to uh, show or demonstrate um, that compose and supports docker out of the box I'm just gonna rerun the um, I'm going to run the same command with the runtime set to Docker, and then I'm going to rebuild, um, and hopefully everything will come up. Uh, it's not installing Docker right now because it's already in the Nix store. I, I ran um, the command earlier, but you can see it stopped the Podman prefix units and generate, generated new units prefixed with Docker. And then uh, we can prove that this is Docker. Um, and then if we do docker ps we'll see the containers are up and, um, and yeah, as before if we uh, and refresh we'll see it's still running um, or yeah uh, was able to come up again with docker the last thing I'd like to demonstrate is um, the kind of NixOS, native NixOS integration, right? That's something we haven't looked at. So what we'll do here is we will 
um, open up this compose file and let's see uh, we'll add an environment section uh, where we'll just define an mvar and call it my var set it to 100 or 1000 um, and we will regenerate the config uh, we can open that up to ensure um, that the uh, the variable is there you can see it my var equals uh, 1000 um, and then we'll do a uh, a rebuild um, and if we look at the rebuild hopefully we'll see that Nix will detect that there's only one container that's changed which is the server container and um, and uh, we'll only stop that service and start it again so um, hopefully that demonstrates kind of the native Nix OS integration where whenever you change something in your compose file compose to Nix uh, will regenerate only um, will, will regenerate your config such that only uh, it will only update the relevant systemd services that are impacted and then from there because NixOS can see the whole picture it can figure out oh okay it's just this service that's changing so i just need to restart this i don't need to restart anything else in the compose project um, 